everyone, I'm Yolanda Soto Lopez from the Opcrafts channel. I hope you enjoyed today's video tutorial. Please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so, that way you never miss a new video. If you see anything you like, be sure to hit that like button, put any comments below, and let's get the party started! to begin I'm going to be using a K hook which is a ten and a half it's six and a half millimeters and this is just a pencil gel or pen gel that I put around this is pretty thick so I don't have to put some rubber bands underneath and it helps cushion my hand so I don't get so tired I'm going to be using two strands of medium weight yarn this is a nice little pink um, it's called shocking pink and then a stitch marker I'm using a bigger one because I'm using two strands so it's easier to keep everything in track and then your scissors um, as you need it. So here to begin you're going to hold both strands together and then I'm just going to start with a regular slip loop. Just make my little loop like that and just kind of grab it there. Okay. Now here I'm going to start with four chains. One, two, three, and four. I'm going to have to move my little gel a little bit lower. Um, so then to close this, I'm going to slip stitch into the first chain. And you can either work these, uh, this tail into your work or you could sew it in at the end. I'm going to be working in rounds. So here, that's why I'm going to be using the stitch marker because it's really easy to lose your place. Um, and so here I'm just going to chain one. And then I'm going to go ahead and do six single crochets into that little space here. So here's one. I'm hiding the tail as I go, but if you want, you could actually uh, weave it in or sew it in. I'm going to put my stitch marker to get in the habit here. One, two, put these there, three, four, five, and six. Okay. So now I have my first round has six single crochets. If you want to do this in half double crochets or double crochets, you can. Um, it just won't be as close, so there'll be like more spaces, but it's totally up to you. I'm going to do this in single crochet because I want to be able to put even smaller items. So here on the next round, round two, I'm going to do an increase in every stitch, meaning I'm going to do two single crochets in every stitch. Remember, you could do this into half double crochets or double crochets if you want to make that bigger. So here, I'm going to end up with 12 single crochets here. So here's one. That's my first stitch. I'm going to put my stitch marker in there and then do two single crochets in every stitch. And then here, two, one, two, do two single crochets in every stitch, meaning an increase in every, every stitch. Okay, so here I finished that uh, round here um, following that same pattern. So I did an increase and then followed by one single crochet. So then the next round, you're just going to keep working that pattern, increasing one stitch um, in between the increases. So here, so here on the third round, I'm going to start with an increase. So here's one. Let me put that stitch marker in there or I'll forget. Two. And now, instead of just doing one stitch with one single crochet, I'm going to increase it by one. So here on the next two, I'm going to do one single crochet and then the second single crochet. So then the next two have one single crochet. Now I repeat the pattern, meaning two single crochets. Oops. Uh-oh, I missed that strand. One, two. So that's an increase in the next one. And then in the next two, I do one single crochet. I'm going to repeat that all the way around. So here now, once again, you do your increase followed by one single crochet in each of the next two. One and two. And this is what you're going to continue doing in all your rounds until you get to round 13. What I mean by that here is when I finish all this, here I'll have my last increase and then one single crochet in the last two. When I get to the next round, I will begin with one increase, meaning two single crochets in the first stitch, and then one single crochet in the next three. So it's one, two, three, 
increase, one, two, three, increase all the way around. And then on the fourth, excuse me, the next round, then you start, there, you're starting all of your rounds with an increase, meaning two single crochets. So the next round you would increase, uh, start with your increase, two single crochets, and then you're going to increase one more stitch so that it would be one, two, three, four stitches that have one single crochet, and then you do your increase, and then four, increase, four, increase, four, all the way around. The next round you start with your increase, and now you're going to have five. So you're going to do one, two, three, four, five with one single crochet. So that's what I mean by you're increasing one stitch more with your um, single crochets. And you're going to keep doing that until you get all the way to round 13. At the end of round 13, then you're going to be doing your increase and then one single crochet in each of the next 11 stitches. So you're going to keep going that way. And you can keep increasing it till you make it the size. And then when we come back, I'm going to work those rounds. When I come back, I'm going to show you how we work the little handles. You can make it bigger or smaller and I'll show you how you could increase it the size and how you add the handles. Okay, so here I have done my uh, 13 rounds. If you want it bigger, remember this is the size of the container when, then we, before you start building up the sides. So here it measures about uh, just a little under 10 inches, okay? So if you want it bigger than that, just continue adding rounds in the same manner. Meaning right here, my last one was, I did my uh, increase and then I followed it by 11 stitches with one single crochet in the next 11. So if you want to make it bigger than here, then I would just begin with my increase and then one single crochet in the next 12. Then the next row would be your increase, the next single one single crochet in the next 13, and so on until you get the size that you want. So for this, um, you can make it even just little baskets like this, up to big jumbo baskets. It's totally up to you. I'm gonna add probably um, I'm gonna add more rounds here, and I'm probably gonna be about 17 or 18 rounds because I want it big enough to be able to put some of my baby yarn in here. And so here. I wanted to give you that measurement. If you do the 13 rounds, it's just a little under 10 inches. And so I'm going to do mine a little bit bigger because I probably want it more closer to like 14 or 15 inches. I'm going to do my rounds and then we'll come back and start um, shaping, giving you the shaping so we can start going up. Okay, so here I've done all my 17 rounds. And if you wanted to make a rug, you would just keep working the same way to keep increasing rounds, you know, one more every in every row. So here it's about 12 and a half inches. Um, and now, to get that shape, um, to get our um, basket shape, right here on our next round, we're just going to do one single crochet in every single stitch, but we're only going to um, work in the back loops. So let me show you here if I could get closer trying to focus it here. You see your chain has one front loop in the back. Now you're just going to go through the back only for this round. So there's that front one is uh, free. Here's the back. And just do one. But remember there's two strands on each one so make sure you go through both strands. As far as the, and then the front chain is free. So we're going through the back loop only and we're going to go all the way around in every single stitch. So I'll come back here when we finish and it's going to give us that little ridge there. You can already start seeing it. That will shape our little lid for, um, I mean shape the bottom of our um, basket. So this part will be the outside and then this will be the inside. So go ahead and go all the way around one single crochet in the back loops only just like that. Okay here I finished my last stitch in the back loop only and so now here you're just going to start adding going through one single crochet through both loops of the, of the chain here of the stitch here. And I'm going to put my stitch marker back there and you just continue adding rounds until you get the height you want. Um, so it could be you know if you want it shorter a few inches if you want it tall, it could be 10, 12 inches, whatever you want to add the height. So here once you start doing this single crochet through both loops, remember I said you could also do it half double crochet or double crochet but it won't be as tight 
or as close as this. If you're going to do a rug, I would definitely do single crochet. So here you just keep adding a single crochet in every stitch and you will just continue it will just continue adding height. So now that you've had this uh, one st stitch with the back loop, it's going to create see that little ridge? So it's going to create your basket. So just keep going on and ask, adding as many rows as you want. Okay, I've done several rounds. So this is about the right size, but you can keep making it taller if you want. This and now you can see that it's going to have enough space for you to put stuff in there. Once I did that, I've come here to the beginning of the round where my round starts next. So now I'm going to show you how we do the handles, okay? So here, I'm not going to tell you like go six stitches or whatever because yours might be bigger because if you keep increasing the size then you'll have more stitches or if you made it smaller than this it'll be smaller. So here what I'm going to do is where I start the new round right there I'm just going to fold this so that I can find the approximately the middle, okay? So this is approximately the middle. So I'm going to kind of scoot this a little bit over. And then I'm going to put stitch markers where I'm going to do my handles. So I'm going to get three more stitch markers here. Let me get this closer so I can show you what I'm doing. So you just scoot it over to where you're going to have like See, this was over here, so I scoot it over a little bit over. And then you put your hand, like how many stitch spaces would you need? I need about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't want to do the full eight because it stretches a little bit. Okay. And then I'm going to put those same ones on the other piece. And then count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm going to have my stitch markers there just to mark where I'm going to be working. Okay, so what we're going to do here on the stitch markers, since I would be starting my new round right here in this next stitch, the stitch marker is going to let me know where I have to skip. So I'm going to leave these seven stitches without working. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to do seven chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to skip these stitches and then on my next stitch here, which would be the, um, let's see, did I do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? Then on my next stitch here, I begin my single crochets, just like that. So there'll be an open space right there. And then you're going to do a single crochet all the way around till you get to right before that stitch here. And then here, once again, I'm going to skip these stitches. I'm going to do seven chains and then finish doing my single crochets all the way around. After that, you can just do like two more rows of single crochet and that will be the end of your little basket. Then you can fasten off and tie off your, your tail. So here, I'm going to go ahead and finish this. And then I'm going to show you what that looks like when it's done. I'll come back here and then we're going to work on this next row with our handles. Okay, now I have gone all the way around. This is where my round started. Um, my stitch markers are here. You can take the stitch markers out now. Um, and now you're going to just do two rounds of single crochet in every stitch, including these chains here that are making your handle. And then you just uh, fasten off, and your little basket will be done. You weave in your and so here, what you're just going to work right on top of those stitches here. Let me see if I can get closer so you can see better. So here then, I'm just going to go in every stitch, do my single crochet in my chains. Two, three. And you're going to go the same way all the way across and then the other side where your seven chains are at. You're going to do it just like this. So it's closing this in and it's creating that little handle that you can hold it. Remember I said you can make it. You could just remember I said you can make it as big to fit your hand whatever size you need. You don't want to do it too big because they do they do stretch. So here I'm just going to continue all the way around and I'm just going to do two rounds 
a single crochet and right here is my beginning of the round so I could put the stitch marker there just so I know but you'll be able to see you're gonna have two rounds and so you're gonna do that all the way around two times and then you're gonna work your other handle opening right here the same way you're just gonna do your stitches there once you do your two rounds of single crochet you can go ahead fasten off and um, sew in your tails and your basket will be ready okay now the basket is done as you can see it holds quite a bit of yarn um, and you can put other stuff in there your clothes you can put them in you know a pantry whole different things I just finished here went around two rows and now I just need to weave in my tail but you can see the handles are here my hands feel fit nice and um, nicely in there it is uh, eight inches tall and I'm not sure how how about 15 inches in diameter but you can see it's pretty deep it fits a lot of yarn or you can use it for whatever you want I hope you enjoyed this tutorial please be sure to subscribe hit that like button if you haven't already done so share the video with your friends and remember always that God loves you